All right, welcome to a new series for the channel. We'll be doing a big old RimWorld mod pack. The full mod listing can be seen in the description. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be running InGen while we build a Jurassic Park here on this randomly generated island. Uh, so here's our starting crew of InGen employees. Uh, we've got, of course, Hammond himself. And then we've got, you know, obvious people, Muldoon, Ray, Wu. We've got Nedry, even though he's a betrayer. Uh, we got the veterinarian. We got the chef from Jurassic Park, Chef Alejandro. Uh, Grant and Ellie are technically on InGen's payroll because they finance the digs. So there are miners for this project. Uh, and then we got Joffrey, who's the worker that's killed by the raptor at the beginning because we need a all-purpose construction guy. Uh, let's take a quick look at the crew. And if you're not familiar with RimWorld, I guess I should introduce the game. RimWorld is a colony simulator. So you're... Uh, building a colony and you're playing through like random scenarios and crazy shit happens it's it's very random very fun game i've done a lot of playthroughs on my other channel of different kind of like themes like terminator abp some standalone custom stuff um things like that what i've done with the mod pack is i've turned it into a jurassic park game so we've got amber that we can extract dna from and clone dinosaurs uh, i've also given us access to a nice helicopter here uh, and we've got uh, Spaz-12s, because that's the Jurassic Park gun. Um, <laughs> we've got some stun rods for cattle prods somewhere around here. Yeah, so hopefully if everything works, I'm going to be honest, I haven't rigorously tested the mod pack, but if everything works, we should be able to set up a resort. We should be able to have NPC guests come in to visit, and uh, it should be very roughly Jurassic Park, right? The goal is going to be to make an arbitrarily large amount of money. Um, I haven't exactly decided how much, but yes. Uh, let's take a quick look at our dudes. So they have uh, needs which describe their current mood based upon things that have happened to them recently. They have social relationships. Why do you hate Chef Alejandro? You like Ellie. Uh, they have a gear tab, so we've got some... Uh, basic white clothes here for mr john hammond um here's his bio he's 80. he is part of the ingen uh ideologian he was a dreamer and now he's the chief financial officer he refuses to participate in combat he's an optimist charismatic a tycoon but he's slow because he's old so he moves slower um he's very very good at social and pretty good at intellectual he's got a few other backup traits there um, no health issues on Hammond, despite him being old. Uh, let's see, who next? Muldoon? Muldoon is athletic, careful shooter, brave, but he's a pessimist. Um, Muldoon was the one who was always, like, questioning things in the control room. He was always the one that was most pessimistic, pessimistic out of the main group there. Uh, he's good at shooting and animals. He'll be our game warden. Uh, he was a ranger child and became a wildlife ranger in adulthood. Those are the backstories that best fit um, his whole deal. Dr. Wu, genetic engineer, science prodigy, also refuses to engage in combat. Very high intellectual skill, pretty high medical skill. Well, very high medical skill, for being honest. Um, academian, abrasive, greedy, but a hard worker. So he'll put in a lot of work. Uh, to help out the the park here, but he's gonna rub people the wrong way um, So they're not gonna get along with him, and he's gonna want a really impressive uh, personal quarters to kind of make up for all the work he's putting in Ray aspiring engineer into chief engineer construction and crafting hard worker chemical interest steadfast Ray comes pre addicted to smoke leaf that's representing his cigarettes that he smokes uh, chain smokes in the film He's got uh, 50 smoke leaf joints slash cigarettes. However, oh, did I not give Hammond shoes? Oh, I didn't give Hammond shoes. <laughs> Everybody else has shoes. Hammond is barefoot. Let's not worry about it. Um, yes. So we're going to have to deal with uh, Ray Arnold's smoke leaf addiction um, and work on that. We'll stick with the rest of the regular staff. Harding, animal caretaker, veterinarian. He's a field medic and an animal friend. So he's good at dealing with animals and uh, tending animals or people. 13 animals, 9 medical. Not too much to say there. We've gone with the film rendition of Harding here. 
not the Jurassic Park the game rendition. Uh, I did deliberate a little bit on that, but this is what we decided to to do. I decided to do. There is no we. Chef Alejandro. He is uh, the guy who makes the, uh, what, Chilean sea bass in the movie? <laughs> they say his name once. Uh, we needed somebody to cook. You need a chef. Somebody's got to cook the food, both for the colony in general and the game. And specifically, we can run, as part of Jurassic Park, a restaurant to get money from people. He's a sous chef. He's a hard worker. But he is also an old, frail, white-haired man. So he literally is frail here, which reduces the amount of stuff he can carry. And he's ugly because he's old. And old people are ugly, I guess. He was merely a child before he became a master chef. He is hyper-specialized in just cooking. Uh, Dennis Nedry. Thought about trying to figure out a good way to make him a sabotage tour but i couldn't figure it out somehow he's um 38 but also 37 that that slipped through the cracks same with grant how did that okay well everybody's got a chronological age and uh um a biological age that are apparently one year off somehow that's a that's a rim world thing that doesn't really factor into this run um point is you can find people who are like 30, but have been frozen for 200 years, so their chronological age is 230. Uh, he's a gifted burnout into a lazy programmer. He's a slob, so he's going to make a mess. He's abrasive. Nobody's going to like him. He's a gourmand. He eats extra food. He's neurotic, so he works faster, but his mental uh, state degrades faster as well. And he's big bones, so he's going to break our furniture. Uh, Nedry is kind of um, dead weight, <laughs> holding us back. Uh, he is he is our backup cook, thanks to Gourmand, boosting cooking skill a little bit. Uh, and he is another intellectual character, because he's the head computer programmer of Jurassic Park. He's got to be pretty smart for that. Uh, and then Joffrey, our construction worker, uh, industrious and a brawler. Joffrey uh, opened the gate on the raptor pen. He had a stun rod, so we've given him high melee to reflect that. He's very high construction. He's going to be our primary builder. And a little bit of animals because he was helping transfer the raptor. Uh, Grant and Ellie are diggers. So they're going to be responsible for bringing in Amber to the park. They're going to use the helicopter specifically to go to the field and do digs in remote locations for Amber. Grant is obviously high mining, but he's also got a passion for shooting. He used a gun in the film. Uh, Grant is fortune finder because he's good at digging stuff up. He's tough. He's brave, but he's a bit of a technophobe. Grant did not like technology. That was a defining character trait. And he was a bone collector and became a digger. Ellie is also a digger, but has a childhood of amateur botanist because she's a paleobotanist. She's athletic, composed, pretty, and has the botanist trait. So she's good with plants, but she's also a, a miner. Not as good as Grant, but she's able to back them up pretty well. Um, so she's going to be doing digging, but also managing some of the plants around the colony to feed both the colonists or to feed the staff of Jurassic Park and to feed the animals. Uh, maybe we'll see how that works out. Uh, she's also got a little bit of medical skill here, uh, cause she was the one who was working with a sick triceratops. So she's obviously able to at least diagnose some basic medical issues. Um, so other things to go over, uh, okay. Yeah. We should schedule, uh, a work schedule here. We'll do something like that make them work nine hours a day uh everybody can do the same so this is basically how this game works you basically assign work priorities and schedules to people and then you let them all go and they all go do their own thing in a pinch you can take control of them directly such as when you're in a combat situation which we'll get to in a second uh, but otherwise the priority table and the schedule table kind of just control them and they go do their thing we have to progress our research tree. Uh, if we want to get dinosaurs, we've got to research Mesozoic knowledge, amber extraction, and DNA reconstruction. Uh, the way we are going to handle uh, our dinosaurs, let's let them uh, start running here. All right, you guys can go get to work. Start hauling all the stuff over. Uh, the way we're going to handle the dinosaurs is with a randomizer external to the game, because the game itself, uh, the mod that I'm using, it's not made by me. Um, doesn't randomize the dinosaurs you pick which one to make and that's no fun we want them to be random so we're going to do that uh we should get these tents installed so they have a place to stay for the night uh before night falls they will be very mad if they're forced to sleep outdoors on the ground 
Some other basic things we need to set up. We need uh, rest facilities. So we should probably get those started right away. Oops, that's that's asymmetric. I don't like it. If you watched uh, any of the Jurassic World Evolution content, you know how much, uh, how poorly I respond to things being crooked. I can sit there and deliberate over something for uh, an awful amount of time. Does Ray Arnold not die in the book? I couldn't remember. Wu does. I remember that. Well, spoilers for the Jurassic Park novel, but if you haven't read it, why are you here? If you haven't read it and care about reading it, why are you here? That's the better way to phrase that. Uh, let's do a dumping stockpile to get all those rocks hauled away. So zone, stockpile zone, dumping up here. Uh, let's get these rocks. Whoops. All. Oh. Okay. Now, some other details. Uh, the world, it's pretty blank. It's not Earth. Um, I tried to do this with a map that was Earth, but I couldn't get the faction stuff to work correctly. And the reason the faction stuff matters, we got enemy factions that can actually attack us. So Biosyn can come after us to try and kill us or steal our dinosaurs. Uh, we also have the Dinosaur Protection Group out of San Francisco that might attack to try to liberate the dinosaurs from us, us cruel park runners. Uh, and uh, the law office of Cohen, Swain, and... Uh, Ross, consisting of a bunch of blood-sucking lawyers, might come and try to suck our blood. Quite literally, because they're actually vampires. <laughs> so this is not played completely straight. This is a little, it's a little um, over the top, so to speak. Uh, which is why we'll have to deal with vampire lawyers on a regular basis. Okay, uh, they've hauled basically everything. Grant seems to be refueling the helicopter. So we need to set up some basic facilities. Uh, yeah, the first thing we really do need is we do need a latrine uh, or or three or something. Let's do let's do three latrines. Let's do some basic wooden walls for privacy, and we can chuck in. Uh, if we go to, I should say this is a fairly large mod pack. Like this whole hygiene mechanic is not based game, but it feels weird to me to not have toilets in this game, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I always put them in. Let's get a well down so they can uh, wash up. We'll throw down a few water tubs as well. Uh, and they can get going on that. We want to get uh, some sort of basic structure started for a storehouse. Now, we came down with a bunch of limestone. So I think we'll build... I, you know what? Let's save the limestone for like a visitor center. We'll use just wood to build our basic storehouse. I think we'll start a storehouse maybe just here in the sandy patch. Let's just do that. Oh, whoops, that's the wrong structure type. So we'll do uh, wooden walls. Nice little storehouse. Maybe we don't want to go so close to the woods because uh, there is a fire mechanic in this game. So if fire breaks out, uh, our wooden storehouse will get lit up and that would not be the best. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Wait. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's 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 just make it one wider. <laughs> okay. Uh, we do that. I used to play this game quite a lot, but I haven't played it much recently. Last time I played it was when the last expansion came out, which was some amount of time ago so there'll be a smidge of me like readjusting to the game again um as well let's do so we'll do a new stockpile zone in here this is just the storehouse uh do not put it in the doorway uh we want this to be yeah we'll do normal we'll do everything here except for um bricks Oops, I missed the B on Blake's. Oh, uh, wait, what is it called? Blocks, blocks, no blocks, no steel. Uh, steel, blocks, stuff like that. Uh, anything that's like uh, uh, a hard mineral doesn't degrade when it's left outside. So we want to leave that out in the field um, to minimize uh, the amount of storage space we're going to need. 
So, get all that moved. Uh, we'll delete this now. Oh, uh, yeah, that's fine. We'll just leave the blocks and steel scattered around. Actually, no, no, I take it back. Let's do let's do a stockpile zone here. Clear all. This will be blocks. This will be steel. Uh, we removed uranium, even though we don't have any. I think maybe we didn't remove uranium. Um, amber, which I presume can stay outside. Yeah. Uh, and uh, that should be oh gold. That'll be it. Now, uh, I made an adjustment to the Jurassic Park mod, Jurassic World or whatever it's called, uh, which was to make the amber. You need a lot more amber to get DNA to make one dinosaur. It used to be pretty generous, um, and I want to work a little harder for the things, so that's why we're doing that. Okay, it looks like they ran out of wood, so let's do uh, a wood cutting order. So they'll go start cutting wood. We'll just set them to cut basically anything near here. Also, wouldn't be bad to harvest some of these bananas I see nearby in the trees and whatever other food they can find. Uh, in the meantime, the meals don't last forever, so we'll need to get set up on that. We should also probably get some weapons equipped. Um, so Muldoon could take a spas. Um, because that's the one that makes the most sense for him thematically. Uh, Ray Arnold can have an assault rifle. Grant can have an assault rifle. Ellie's a two. Nedry's a two. Shotgun. Uh, Ellie, why don't you take a shotgun? Uh, do we not have more melee weapons? Or, I mean, range weapons? Uh, stun baton. Stun baton. I stellar died Biosyn. What the fuck? Okay, Biosyn CEO died. Pretend that said CEO. <laughs> uh, Harding. Stun baton, please. Binge party. Guys, we haven't even built a park yet. What are you binging on? Okay, I need, I need, uh, Joffrey, I need you to finish the shed, though. There you go. Uh, please, please. Okay, uh, so this game has an automatic uh, home zone building thing. The home zone basically defines the home area, which matters mostly for cleaning. So you almost always want to turn it off, despite it almost always starting on. Otherwise, they'll sit here and they'll clean all this bullshit out here that doesn't matter. Um, so I forgot to do that at the start, so now I have to do it now. Uh, we can let them clean the sand around these tents, I suppose. Um... Although I think I'm going to remove it now that I've started. Great. So now they'll maintain those areas, clean them, and repair them as need be. Um, then we need to roof this over so the items inside stop deteriorating. Uh, it's already... Yeah, as a completed room, it already gets flagged to build a roof. Um, why can I not... Oh, there we go. I have to click near the wall to prioritize building a roof. I'm sorry, Joffrey. You're not allowed to go party. You need to build a roof. I'm going to lock the door. Build the roof. Chopper, you son of a bitch. Don't go to sleep. New lovers. Nedry and Ellie. No. Wait. That's not. No. No. What? Ellie, why? Ellie, why? Oh, no. This is. Okay. Everything's already getting weird. We've barely started and it's already, uh, already getting strange. All right. Grant, uh, you can get up. You can go go get in a tent or something. Okay, Joffrey is not going to keep building this roof. I cannot keep him working. Uh, let's just... he, You know what? Whatever. Just go do whatever you want. Ellie and, Ellie and fucking Nedry? Are you kidding me? Day one? Day fucking one. What the fuck? How did this happen? Ellie talked about hostile drunkards with Nedry. Chef Alejandro laughed at Ellie's weight? What the fuck? Nedry attracted Ellie by joking about odd jobs? What are you talking about? Nedry and Ellie chatted about cute animals. My god. What the fuck? Alright, well... 
actually insane? How is the opinion so high? Like, okay, Nedry, I understand because because Ellie's pretty and all. Uh, deep talk. Nedry and I had a nice chat. Like, what the fuck, bro? That's crazy. Why does everybody physically unsightly minus 20 is more of a penalty than like, wait, what is, hmm. I guess abrasive might not have kicked in yet effectively. The physical unsightliness immediately applies. No, everybody's shunning the old man. How fucking brutal. That's completely unreasonable, guys. Chef Alejandro has earned his place in the crew. You need to you need to chill. Uh, let's see what they're talking about. They're talking about all sorts of shit. Quipped about porpoises, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Doctor Who offered a backhanded compliment. Sorry, hold on. Hold on. Uh Thoughts about morality. Offered a backhanded compliment about Muldoon's culture. Wow. So, uh, maybe abrasive is more that they do a bunch of, like, negative social things. Chit-chat, slighted. Yeah, must be. The ugliness is a flat penalty to social versus, I guess, just skewing towards negative traits. It's fine. Uh, do we have any other guns? No, I think that's it. I think five guns was all I gave myself. So, it should be two melee weapons left over. Uh, you can have a stun bond ton is a sidearm. Uh, let's give Muldoon one as well. At least get the weapons into their inventory and out of the rain so they stop deteriorating. Okay, well, they're all turning in for the night, and so shall we. A new day has dawned on Jurassic Park. In Jurassic Park, Ani's Lanublar, as we're going to call it. The shed has been finished finally. I'm um, sorry, did I not? I thought I picked that up, but apparently not. Well, there you go. Grab that. So this is going to be our visitor center building, I think. Um, hold on, I should uh, carve out the front better. So if we do this, and we do this, and we do, say, this... Maybe like that? I think that's a good shape for the visitor center. So we want to delete, sorry, delete. Delete, I'm not allowed to delete if, oh man. Okay, it's gonna be a pain in my ass. So we guess we gotta do, we gotta do this. Oh, what? Well, I just can't, I have to cancel. Sorry, that's a, that's a forgetting how the game works moment. So that would be our kind of Chunky Half Moon Visitor Center. I think that works. Maybe a little small. We can always expand it later. One, two, three. One, two, three. Seems fine. So, uh, yeah. And then this is going to be our power station. Which is actually the cleaner building from JPOG, funnily enough. Then we're going to get the labs put in right away so that we can start doing research and other stuff. I don't know if we have enough blocks for everything here. I didn't actually like price it out. I just gave them blocks. Chunks of a spacecraft. Chunks of uh, some sort of um, flying thing. Definitely not a spacecraft. That would make no sense in Jurassic Park. Uh, we should also give them a few other things here. So we should probably go ahead and just throw down uh, some basic furniture. Let's grab a table. And we'll grab some basic wooden stools. That way they have a place to eat. 
It's a bit of a meme in the real world community that the greatest war crime you could commit is eating without a table. So we'll take care of that. Uh, we should also do a little bit of recreation. So let's go ahead and throw down uh, a few horseshoe pins. Um, maybe a maybe a chess table. That way they got some uh, some options there. Ray has collapsed into extreme exhaustion. That's because Ray is a hard worker, I guess. Uh, I feel like you should still not collapse. Okay, he's on his way to bed. All right, day two. Uh, yeah, we've got a good start in the visitor center, and that's about it. Day three arises. Everybody gets back to work. Uh, something killed the turtle at some point. Oh, did it get... Oh, no, there we go. Uh, yep, and uh, Chef Alejandro has gone ahead and butchered that sea turtle. Getting us some turtle shell and plenty of turtle meat. We need to uh, get a proper kitchen built for him pretty soon. Probably we should build him a proper kitchen first. Um, before the lab. How are we doing on limestone? Oh, we got... Wait, why do we have this much limestone? I thought it was a... Maybe it was 2,000 I gave him. I thought I gave him 1,000. Um, all right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and probably start laying out some other stuff here then. So uh, if we do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, let's just do this. Let's just do orders. There's a planning thing. So... Okay, 16 from the door to the back wall interior. Um, so we'd want to go 8. But then there's a wall. So we do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we build right there. I think that would make sense. Whoops. Uh... How do I undo this? Okay, I guess that does it. The shape thing is a mod that I literally added during this episode. No, it's back to this. How do I unfucking do? No, stop it. The fuck are you? What? What do these mean? <laughs> Line selected. Okay, there we go. God damn it. All right, job job done. So, structure, limestone. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So seven, and then wall, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight inside. Okay, great. So front lobby area, basically. Um, yeah, let's just do it like that. This will be the front lobby, and then all the facilities will be around here, kind of like that. Yeah, because that's seven on that wall. So we can just do doorways through there and there. Like that. Um, do we have an interior map of the visitor center? I'm sure somebody's made one, but can I find one real quick? Uh, yeah, that's not, that's not it. Uh, that's... There we go. Jurassic Park Wiki. Let's see. Oh my god. Just show me the map. Don't show me the whole damn wiki page. Alright, well they got their chess table. They got their dining room table, such as it is, built. They'll stop uh, freaking out about not having any place to eat. Power is ready. So, uh, we need to get everything else here built. We can mine some amber... Machinery, steel. Let's get some extra steel, maybe. Wait, when the miners are idle, they have something to do. Uh, we'll set another another harvest order here. Bring in some more food, I guess. Just want to keep people like busy. Um, oh, is this? Oh no! Why does that? 
box? Dude, this mod is fucking my day up. Alright, well, I'll figure this out later. Okay, I got the mod working a little bit better. Uh, this is the visitor center layout. We're doing, like, basically a workshop. Like, machine shop. Uh, this will be the freezer. This will be the kitchen. This will be the restaurant. This has all been laid out. This will be the control room. Uh, which will also have the main research labs. Uh, in terms of, like, room world mechanics, it'll have the research lab. In terms of Jurassic Park thematics, the actual research lab will be down here. This will be the genetics lab where we do all the dinosaur stuff. So this will be where we clone and uh, produce eggs. Um, so it'll take a little while for them to get all that built. We'll probably redo the storage unit at some point, somewhere out the back here. But this is a good start uh, for now. I think um, I think what we'll do now, they've got a lot of tasks to do, and we don't really need to keep as much of an eye on them because they're not going to do that much interesting stuff. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just let them get around to it, and we'll come back to the video when something more noteworthy happens. I had this little notification on the side of the screen i kind of been ignoring. Colonists can gain expertise. That is a modded mechanic, um, which I'm not going to lie, I threw in because it sounded interesting, and I don't really know quite what the deal is. It is here. It is this. So, uh, ward negotiating, proselytizing. So you can specialize, basically, in... Um, some sort of social skill because the social is so high. So negotiating makes the most sense. So you get a negotiating bonus. Uh, trade price improvement and peace talks. Okay. And then we had this as well for Joffrey and Dr. Wu. So synthesizing complete creates drugs, hacking, or researching. Uh, we'll do that. Researching. And Joffrey, flooring, repairing, or architecture. We'll do architecture. Oh, shoot. Maybe I want a building. I missed that there was four. Construction success chance. No, that's fine. Yeah, that seems that seems all right. Why not? All right. The lab is, uh, or the control room is the first thing really getting underway here. Um, do we run out of limestone? No, we still have limestone. They just have a lot of work to do. That's fine. They'll get around to it. Now comes the part in every RimWorld campaign when you get to formally name your faction in Gen and your uh, colony, which will be Isla Nublar. I want to do it that way. That way when we're on the planet, we see it as Isla Nublar instead of Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park is on Isla Nublar. The greater thing is Isla Nublar. Part of it is Jurassic Park, right? There we go. Um... Oh, we got the research bench made. I just need some somebody to go do power. Uh, Joffrey, please connect that up. We can talk about research. I am currently laying out the floors. Who already had a power short? Are you joking? Really? The fucking power line is already on fire? Oh, shoot. That's the wrong. What? Oh, I deleted only one tile. Fair enough. Um, yeah, actually, we'll do we'll do sterile in here too. We don't have uh, that much silver for sterile, but it's fine. And then flagstone over here in the workshop. That makes sense to me. All right. Uh, and then yes, I need Joffrey. Please go put out the fire. Thank you. Okay. Hammond's idle, but that's fine. Uh, research. So I want to get going right away on the Jurassic World research. We won't be having any visitors for quite a while. We need to get facilities built up first. Um, let's get some more lights in here. Oh, we also have the uh, the JPOG soundtrack uh, as part of the mod pack, so that's fun. All right, well, they're hard at work. We're getting there. It's starting to look like something. 
if we can get this room finished, we can start to have non-perishables stockpiled. Holy smokes, the shed has got a lot of wood in it, huh? Okay, we got some fish meat. I don't even know where that came from. Um, okay, let's do this. Uh, wood needs to be chucked outdoors because it's taking up too much space because I accidentally harvested way too much fucking wood. Uh, and that's bad. Dr. Wu. Uh, get that wood out of there, man. There you go, buddy. Joffrey, I need you to finish up the freezer. Uh, who's my other constructors? He's number one. Ray is number two. Sorry, Ray. I need you to get up. We want to get the uh, the fish meat in the freezer before it deteriorates. You know what? Uh, we'll just we'll just let him go to to sleep you can build this door first then you guys can go to sleep uh is this room contained i don't think so uh where's the temperature map i don't know it, it probably isn't um it's definitely cool toggle visibility of roofs is it roofed I actually wouldn't have expected it to be roofed because uh, there's still trees in there, but they're modded trees, I guess. So maybe they don't work the same way. Well, anyway, uh, since this room does possibly appear to be ready to go, let's do this. Storage, clear all. This becomes critical. We allow raw food um, and we allow the perishable meals. Basically anything that will rot. All the uh, turtle meat we had is already gone. That's already completely decayed all right that should be fine and then if we can get the uh yeah haul that in there i want to see if it's actually freezing that'd be great if we can get the uh kitchen done as well then we can start cooking some proper meals frozen okay yeah this is a fact the freezer um, fantastic. Okay, uh, so, if we want to get the floors completed, we need to find more silver, if there's any on the map. We definitely got plenty of steel, some of which I've already mined. We have machinery components for building. We have an amber deposit. Uh, more amber. More amber. Amber seems like it's too common, but I was not... I didn't really want to get crazy on nerfing things. Um, and I didn't know where to go in the mod to adjust the spawn rate of amber. There's some gold there. I don't see any silver. That's a little unfortunate. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, we'll need to work on bringing in our own, bringing in some silver from like trading or something. All right. Fine. We could also start quarrying at some point and extract uh, resources from the ground that way. I'm just kind of going back over everything here to make sure I'm right and that there really is no silver and that does seem to be correct. All right, well, Nedry's hard at work on researching. Snail meat rotted away in storage. I'm sorry, what? Refrigerated. Oh, because Ellie's holding the door open. I guess. So yeah, the efficient thing to do would be to, be to build a double door in here. Um, I'm just hoping that eventually when this is all built, uh, it ends up being not that bad. We'll see. I mean, if we're cooking and stuff, then stuff can decay a little bit. It'll get cooked up and eaten eventually. Grant is having a technophobe tantrum. He's going to go smash. Really? A tent counts as technology. Uh, Mesozoic done. Next, Amber Extraction. So this gives us nothing. That's just a prereq tier. Great. Are you, are you done, Grant? Don't smash anything that matters. You smash up those tents, that's fine. I'm, it's really funny that the tents... 
these are modded. Uh, it's really funny these count as tech with that mod. I mean, it's good. It gives him something relatively benign for him to smash in a technophobic tantrum. It's not really Grant <laughs> to, to freak out and smash tech, but uh, it's fine. It gives him more character, right? And then he goes and takes a shit. Classic. Battle animals wander in. Excuse me? Boom rats. Excuse me? Oh shit, they count as our animals. Hmm. That's not, I don't want animals joining. That's not supposed to be a thing. Uh, I could see if I can edit that real quick in the mod settings. So, uh, yeah, I think because this is like a modded event, this, this style of animals joining, I think it's not removed by the mod spread I currently have. Um, so the, these are boom rats. They explode when they die. They're also a weird alien creature. Not the kind of thing we want in this mod pack right now. So uh, we're just going to resolve this the only way I know how by uh, making them explode in the water specifically so that they don't um... <laughs> so that they don't light the forest on fire. Also, it's like shooting experience. Uh, please do go put out those fires, though. All right, great. Well, free meat, right? <laughs> I, I guess that works. Uh, work frenzy on Chef Alejandro. Okay, he's doing good. All right, he's very happy. I want to get this stuff built before I build them individual, like, bungalows or anything. Uh, the first one probably goes to Dr. Wu. But uh, it's going to have to wait. Okay, this stuff is still frozen. Good. We do got the bench made now. Um, it would be nice to get... Yeah, okay, no silver, right. So we ran out of silver building some of the sterile tile in this room. Um, you know what? It's fine. I, I'm gonna just we're gonna try and get silver. Um, so we'll just roll the dice on food poisoning. We'll set this up to cook fine meals, forever. Do forever, and we could have uh, a little light hunting for uh, Muldoon here. Maybe these boar. There's a dying flamingo. He's got eggs. <laughs> The flamingo has an extreme migraine. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, we're changing the uh, what was going to be the workshop here to be the restroom facilities, which I forgot to put into the building and probably should be there. Um, so yeah, we'll get those. I'm not sure what a good thematic bathroom floor is. We'll go with paved tile. That seems fine. We'll put in uh, showers and bathrooms in the hotel proper when that's built. Um, and we'll do a separate workshop somewhere, probably off of the warehouse. We'll probably combine those two. It's more efficient to do it that way anyway. You want your production close to your stockpile, right? Um, Chef Alejandro working on these uh, boot rat meat, sugar banana fish meat meals. Fantastic. This is just rats and bananas. That's how it do be. Okay, amber extraction done. DNA reconstruction next. So that should give us access to um, the benches. Amber extraction. So we'll start that there. Let's give them a chair to work with. Uh, obviously, there's still a lot of other work to be done. Embryonic chamber holds valuable information. Build their DNA restructure. Amber extraction to give a boon to their work speed. Placing more than one has no effect. Um, actually, yeah. Let's wait till we have both of these researched to build either of them so that we can make sure the space works. Oh, Ray is building a recreational computer in the control room. That's fantastic. We could uh, we could use the um, a flat screen television 
to also make this look more like the dress of our control room where there are like TVs and monitors. Um, they wouldn't have obviously had flat screens, but they did have like bigger monitors. And, and the tube television is too, too old timey. So I think that'll be fine. We can also stick a few extra chairs here for other people to watch the TVs for recreation. They're basically just other people sitting at the desks. That works. I think that's fine. Could also put some uh, something here in the um, in the restaurant. Maybe a nice radio. Sure, we'll check a radio in the restaurant. All right, uh, if we're gonna build all that tech stuff though, we're gonna need some machinery. Ravenous crabs, what? Huh? Okay, uh, we're being attacked by crabs. We're gonna try and eliminate the crabs. Wish us luck. <laughs> this is uh, this is a good window into RimWorld. Uh, there's a lot of that kind of stuff. Okay, another thing. I don't know if it matters if we dig under the mountain. Normally in RimWorld, digging under the mountain is very bad. But I have attempted to disable the bugs which are normally the reason you don't want to dig under a mountain. You'll release a horde of ravenous alien insects. Um, but hopefully that doesn't happen to us and uh, we're fine. I don't know. We'll have to see. Now, uh, we don't have the technology for septic tanks, so we're going to just dump our raw sewage straight into the ocean. Um, I'm sure it's fine. Drifters... Five different refugees, desperate refugees, including a child, are approaching. Begs for permission to stay on Isla Nubla for 11 days so they can rest and regroup. And in turn, they offer to fight for free and work. And they also reward us. Uh, I mean, we got to we'll, we'll let these refugees come in here. We're, we're not we're not bad people. Um, we do, however, now need beds for these people. Uh, I still have a ton of wood, so let's do this. We'll just set some beds up in here for temporary housing. Ah, see, now this is a slight concern. She's genetically modified, uh, which is a little weird. Can we just uh, maybe erase that feature? Oh, we also got a wolf man. Oh my god. Yeah, so there's probably some way I could have modified this. Oh my god. I've never even played with this shit. This is actually base game gene modding stuff. I just don't know. Uh, excuse me. I can't help but notice you're from fucking Biosyn. Suspicious. Very suspicious. Okay. Well... Um, hmm. so I would assume the Biosyn thing is random because it's a in-game religion is how this has been set up. So anybody can be a Biosyn uh, fan, I guess you'd say, without being a Biosyn employee. So these people are fans of Biosyn, but not employed by Biosyn. Um... You have the squarest fucking jaw I've ever seen, tiny child. My god. Alright. Well, maybe maybe they're genetically modified by Biosyn. Maybe that... You know what? That's our headcanon. These guys are refugees from Biosyn, uh, which was doing genetic experiments on them. It makes sense. It makes sense to me. Alright, well, let's wrap this episode up here. Uh, my goal for next episode is to get our first dinosaur out. So until next time.